Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, I'm doing an hour vlog. I'm here in beautiful Finland, uh, in Lapland. Um, so I decided to do the second video, which is going to be about a topic that a few photographers asked me, or people that, I've got friends that have asked me that are just starting out to do photography. And one of the questions is how to get exposure or how do they get jobs? So, uh, everyone's different. Um, I've sort of apply the same things that I did when I was first a DJ. So, um, so for those that don't know, yes, I have been a DJ, I've been a DJ for 13 years now. Um, I still do it, I have fun, I do some clubs and private functions, but um, full-time photography is taking over pretty much on my weekend, so it's very limited. But however, every now and then, I'll make a booking on a Friday night and still play at the favorite places that I like to play at and play my favorite music. So um, I apply the same concept. So pretty much um, I can narrow it down into five um, sort of rules of uh, what I did uh, so you can get jobs and all of that. Okay, so tip number one would be to do free jobs. Now I am not expecting you to do weddings for free, christenings, or anything like that for free. I think it's it's really important to be selective even when you do these things for free. Now, um, I, you'll probably say, how can I be selective when I'm just starting out? So, what you should be doing is, you know, approach friends and family. So, pretty much just ask these family members when they have a uh, a christening or a birthday to go and take pictures for these people. Um, so the good thing is that they will always appreciate um, that gesture and also um, they're not going to be telling everyone that you got it for free. Um, that's the thing with family and friends, they look out for you. So even if you do you do it for free, um, they won't expect you all the time to do it but that's not an issue anyways. Like with family and friends, it's like an unspoken agreement. You should be able to uh, work something out with them. So anyhow, when you start doing functions for family and friends, they sort of t talk on your behalf. So these are people that uh, firsthand have experience or dealt with you. And they can talk to other people and give you a recommendation. So it's quite genuine. So people would believe them for when they do recommend you even more so. So, um, also, if you have good looking friends or not so good, whatever it is, um, they don't have to be really good looking, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, get, get girls and boys alike and do some photo shoots. Like, just go around the city, take photos of them, drinking coffee, do a concept, you know, be creative, um, come up with something like dressing gym gear or um, do a fashion shoot with whatever they have anything just really just get out there and shoot and then publish this uh this work on social media and show people and by doing that people slowly will see what you've been doing and if they like it they'll most probably recommend you again and do another job tip number two now tip number two you have to be careful, um, take it with a grain of salt, what I'm gonna say, but um, it's say yes to everything. Now, what I'm saying is, don't be so picky about what people offer. So, take um, a job not purely based on money, like if they can only afford whatever they it is, um, then do it, don't do it for the money, everyone starts out like this, you don't make money straight away. And if you do, it's better than nothing. So by all means, say yes to most jobs that you will get, unless it's costing you um, a lot to do it. Like for example, you have to travel somewhere or whatever it is. You know what? Um, just do it. So if it's local, if it's, especially if it's local, 100% do it. So don't say no to anything yet. Don't be so selective. Just say yes for now until you get that ball ro rolling and you'll be able to be selective after. Tip number three. Now, <clears throat> this is a hard one again, so 
um, everyone sort of get, goes into debt when they're first purchasing their camera and gear and all that. So um, a lot of people focus on that. I've got to make money back and pay off the debt or pay off, make money off what I bought. Now, I recommend not to do it. Don't do it for the money. People see through that. I think eventually through other things, for example, giving a great quality quality service and by being uh, like super friendly and a great photographer, um, people will recommend you more and more and you'll be able to make more money through that. If you're focused only on money, people will see that and then they'll be like, oh, they'll probably not choose not to get you. Um, people don't like to be treated as a as like a business transaction. They understand that people need to make money and it is a business or, or eventually you're heading that way. But really, like to be solely fo focused on business and making money, I don't reckon, I don't think it's the right way to go. So don't be focused on money. It would follow after you, after you have reached the other steps that I've given you. Tip number four is to be friendly and provide great service. Now, I think this is a, a hard, hard thing to understand sometimes. Um, people think that I, they are friendly. Um, I don't know, like, you have to adapt to a lot of personalities out there. You get a lot of different people. So I think it's important to to recognize this and to be versatile and um, have a great deal of adapt adaptability to adapt to different types of personalities and people asking you for random things for like, can you take a picture here, take a picture of that and this and that. I've found myself even now, I have experience in doing a lot of things and especially christenings and they still sometimes, sometimes they ask, oh, have you taken a picture of this and that and I'm like, well, yeah, uh, that's my job. But the thing is that, you know, like don't come across too arrogant about doing it. Just say, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, I've done it. That's my job. I know what I'm doing. And so um, I think that's an important point. So just be friendly and, um, and provide a great service. So, you know, be nice to everyone because potentially they are your clients. Refer you to other people you just don't know so don't um, don't underestimate anyone be nice to everyone and provide their great service and tip number five now tip number five is highly related to the other vlog that I just done keep yourself motivated um, I think it's easy when you do uh, when you get to the point where you're really busy that you sort of find yourself doing the same things and and um, it's hard to keep yourself motivated and you, you feel you're taking the same pictures, the same people, etc, etc. So I think keeping yourself motivated is important, always. Keep that cre creativity flowing, like just just keep it oozing through you and and by like, how do you keep yourself motivated? Just read the other vlog, just listen, to, not read it. Um, just watch the other vlog that I made about how to in, uh, motivate yourself and inspire others. So, um, pretty much, it's 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 vital, I think, in every photographer's life to do things that, that they don't usually do. Travel is a big one, and um, and go to uncommon places and do just do weird stuff, you know, anything, um, just like. Like now, there's no TVs in this igloo, so really, I have had a lot of time to just rest and think about nothing, really, and just enjoy the views of snow and trees. So really, it's just um, so um, so pretty much um, those are my five tips. So if you have any other questions that you might want to add um, or topics that you would like me to elaborate on. Uh, just let me know um, on the comments. Um, by all means, share and um, share my my videos and subscribe to my channel if you like. Um, uh, this is everything here that I do is self-funded, so really I, I work really hard for what I do, and um, 
and I reward myself for these things, so, for doing experiences like this. So, um, yeah, so pretty much enjoy and um, hope to see you guys soon. Ciao.